if you're wondering how we can tell these two apart, we can't. This is Bo and his slightly larger brother, Bruno, hiding behind his groomer. These miniature poodles are six months old and they're at doggy styling for their first haircuts. We're excited to announce this new series of longer videos for YouTube and of course for TikTok. We want to show you more of the grooming process and tell you a bit more about some of the fantastic dogs that we groom. We're starting with the lovely Bo as his brother is a little bit more camera shy. All our puppies get washed in a hypoallergenic shampoo as it's less likely to cause irritation. As you can hear, Bo was a bit put out by this whole shampooing process, but this mucky pup was in desperate need of a good bath. We lathered him up for a second time with an argan shampoo that will leave his coat soft but also condition the hair and reduce breakage. After giving him a very thorough rinse, we could towel him off and head back to the table. The miniature poodle was bred down from the standard to make a companion dog that was better suited to living in the city. Although poodles are most closely associated with France, standard poodles actually come from Germany. They were bred to flush and retrieve waterfowl, and the name poodle is thought to come from the old German word meaning to splash. Bo wasn't best pleased with being dried, despite his owner bathing and brushing both puppies once a week. We eventually realised these two were joined at the hip, so they didn't like to be separated. Unfortunately, this is quite common when litter mates grow up together. Litter mate syndrome is where two dogs from the same litter become codependent on each other if they're rarely apart. Unfortunately, it causes anxiety whenever they're separated and can even lead to severe depression if one dog dies before the other. It can be prevented if owners encourage both dogs to be independent by going on separate walks, giving them time alone in the house and doing activities that boost their confidence, like agility. Bo and Bruno are both still quite young, so experiences like grooming should give them a bit of a confidence boost. Both boys are getting about half the length clipped off today, as their owner doesn't feel she can keep the coat not free at its current length. We use a one inch comb attachment over a 30 blade to clip the body and skim over his legs. Next, we transition to using scissors and shaping the legs. We use a pair of curved scissors and later a pair of curved chunkers to achieve the desired shape. Bo is having tube legs today, which means we're aiming to make his legs the same width from the top of the leg to the foot.
For the face, we use a pair of piano tooth fluffers to clear the bridge of the nose. Bo's owners want a short, tight muzzle, but not the traditional shaved face of most poodles. The ears are lightly trimmed at the bottom as they need to grow in a lot more to be able to shape them properly. The final part of the groom was blending in the cheeks. After another two hour groom on Bruno, the boys were very happy to be reunited and to have some cuddles. And Bo and Bruno could get back to their identical twin act. And have some cuddles. <laughs>